Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay from DirtFarmerJay.com. Have you ever done a wall patch like this, spackled it, but you get ready to sand it, but you just hate to do it because you know the mess it's going to make? Have I got a tip for you. You have some damage to one of the walls in your home or place of business, you patch it, it's ready to sand it but we all know it makes a big mess when you sand it. The trick is capturing the dust as near to the source as possible. So if I can give you this little trick here, it's gonna help you to capture it right away. And here it is. And that's to create a little dust pan that you can tape right to the wall made out of paper. And I'll show you how to do this in just a moment. But what you're gonna do here is take this little dust pan and you're gonna tape it right under where you're gonna do the sanding using painter's tape so it won't pull off here. Now let's take a look at how you make this little dustpan for almost next to nothing. We'll begin with a piece of typing paper, standard 8.5 by 11. And all you need to do here is take the bottom edge and fold up, oh, let's say within an inch or two of the front, or the top edge, I mean, up here. Fold that. As you can see, I have a fold here and there. That's going to give me an edge to put a piece of tape on. Next thing you're going to do is simply bring in the edge a little bit at an angle, like this, and put a piece of tape on it. Go ahead and crimp that over and seal the bottom down all the way here so that you don't have leakage of the powder. Okay, you can see that pocket start to form. Let's just go to the other side and do exactly the same. Now what you've created is a pouch like this. Then to finish off your throwaway disposable pouch, simply put a piece of painter's tape across the top edge. Now you have a pouch that will easily affix to the wall underneath your patch in the sand. Now one other thing you can do here, you can scale this up. Let's suppose you had a large area to sand. You could use a piece of newsprint paper, recycled paper again. I love this tip because it's inexpensive and you're just gonna scale it up. Same idea. And now what I've created is a pocket that when I hang it on the wall, it's going to catch all of that powder. All right, let's go to work. You've got your little dustpan, you put it up here right under your patch. You're gonna take a sanding block or you can use the black sanding screen that is used for drywall sanding. And you're gonna take this, instead of doing big old circular motions or powdering it up, just use gentle strokes up and down above. And you can see, you look careful, look at that dust. Where's it going? It's starting to drop right into the little tray we made. And by doing this, you're getting a really nice finish quickly, but there's hardly anything going anywhere else except where you want to capture it. Now once you get down to your final part here, what I like to do just to make it so it's easy to paint, you can see our original patches right there. What I like to do to make it easy to paint and make sure that it sticks really well is simply to use a damp rag. Now, before I do that though, let's just look and see if this really worked. Well, let's look down at the floor and you can see there's nothing on top of the baseboard there. Did it really do the job? Well, let's pull that off there. We're gonna gap that and then put it in there and you can see all the powder there that now is easy to dispose of. Now, to finish up right before we paint, there's a lot of powder on this, and to make sure that the paint sticks, I like to just use a very lightly dampened terry cloth rag, and you're just gonna wipe across here like this, and take care of all of the residual amount of spackle that was there, and just leave that just like that, ready to paint. If you like the video, please like it, forward it on to a friend, visit us at DirtFarmerJay.com.
Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay from DirtFarmerJay.com. Have you ever done a wall patch like this, spackled it, but you get ready to sand it, but you just hate to do it because you know the mess it's going to make? Have I got a tip for you?